Well, for some families, the holidays wouldn't be the same without fireworks on New Year's Eve. Others can't miss a trip to the downtown skating rink. The Holiday Lights Festival also shines a light on an important cause, hunger, and it makes a real difference. It does. Angie Grody from the Food Bank for the Heartland. Uh, here with Chris Kircher with ConAgra Brands Foundation here to shed a little bit of light on that. Great to see mm -hmm. both of you. Good morning. It's a, our annual visit. I feel like it's going it to become a tradition <laughs> right. for us here. But uh, the ConAgra Brands Shine the Light on Hunger campaign. Uh, who wants to take that? Describe what that campaign is. Well, it's a campaign that we started at, at ConAgra um, 10 years ago. And the idea was to come up with a campaign that gave folks an opportunity to give back in conjunction with the Holiday Lights Festival. So really what it's designed to do over the course of six weeks is raise significant resources for Food Bank for the Heartland to um, engage the community in fighting hunger, a cause that's very important to ConAgra. Well, one of the things where this comes in huge is at the ice rink. So how does the ice rink help contribute to the campaign? What can people do to contribute there? Well, uh, it, it, it's, it's sort of the centerpiece of the campaign. Uh, $5 admissions at the rink, uh, the ConAgra Brands Foundation matches dollar for dollar up to $100,000. There's also an opportunity to bring non-perishable food items mm -hmm. down to the rink um, and, and leave those for Food Bank for the Heartland. And then around the community, you'll see various ways to contribute, whether it's at Baker's or uh, the Jocelyn Museum, you'll see collection barrels throughout the town that give people an opportunity to uh, pursue our goal of raising 1.4 million meals during the uh, Shine the Light on Hunger That's campaign. the goal, 1.4 million. That's the goal. Angie, what kind of impact does that mean for the food bank? It has a tremendous impact. Um, one out of five children in the heartland is considered food insecure, which means they may not know where their next meal is mm -hmm. coming from. In Douglas, Sarpy, and Pottawatomi counties, nearly 40,000 children may be going to bed without eating dinner or waking up in a home where there's no food in the kitchen. And all of the food and funds raised um, from Shine the Light on Hunger uh, will go to help these children and their families during the holiday season. What items do you need the most right now? Non-perishable items like macaroni and cheese, peanut butter, um, boxed meals, canned proteins um, are always in need um, at the food bank. And then financial contributions as well. For every donated dollar that we receive, the food bank is able to provide three meals. Yeah, so what would you rather have, uh, four cans <laughs> of cream corn or a dollar? You know what I mean? Well, we can really do more with a, a donated dollar, mm -hmm. um, but we are grateful for all donations yeah, you're that buying we receive. Bulk, right? I mean, you're yes. buying at wholesale cost. They have better shopping power than they most do. of us do when it comes to she, going right. to the grocery store. Angie store. spends a dollar better than I do, probably. <laughs> uh, how else can we help to shine the light on the hunger campaign? Is there anything else we can do uh, to support it in general? I think just getting the word out and making folks um, aware of what the opportunity is. I, I'll say this that. The community has been a wonderful partner over the last 10 years, and there's no way we could get to that goal without the participation that we've seen in the past. So we appreciate any opportunity uh, we can to get the word out and to thank the community for uh, joining us in this effort. Well, I'm excited this week because the temperatures are going to be much warmer. <laughs> right, and you guys still keep that ice frozen even when we're going to hit the 40s. But we should point out that the rink is not where it's been in the past. Where's the new location? That's right. Chris? Well, we moved the rink to the corner of 10th and Capitol Streets um, in anticipation of next year a permanent rink going in mm -hmm. to the capital, the new capital district once the ribbon is cut on that. Um, just to kind of familiarize folks with the neighborhood, mm -hmm. I think it's working out great. It's highly visible on your way to the CenturyLink Center, and um, it's about the same size rink, so we hope everyone will come down and join us there. And so far, going smoothly. I mean, people are finding the rink. They know where it's at. They're getting there. They're getting the skates on and having a good time. So far, so good. And if you need parking, um, the ConAgra uh, brand's lot on the corner of 10th and Farnham is open throughout uh, the rinks uh, being open, so you can park there. It's about a two-block walk. Well, yeah. and a great thing to do when those kids are on the holiday break, get them outside, stop by the rink, and definitely contribute to that great cause. Thanks to both of you, and Merry Christmas to you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Angie, thanks for coming. Chris, Merry good to Christmas. see you. Thank you very much. Have a nice holiday. Uh, the holidays are a perfect time to take advantage.